What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And if you read the title of this video, that's not clickbait. That is actually the case. I am moving over from console gaming to PC. Now, a lot of people may have questioned why I'm doing that, but I will tell you, it's just not console that I'm moving over. It's operating systems. If you've been watching my channel, I have done so many videos in the past, especially videos like, like can you game on a Mac, how to game on a Mac, and a bunch of other stuff like that. And the Mac OS has been a huge thing for me. That's, that's been the main operating system I've been using for years now. And now I'm finally just diving deep into just Windows. But this is mostly a gaming video, so I will talk more about the Mac stuff a little bit later in the video. But yes, I'm switching over but not fully when it comes to gaming. So I'll explain what I mean by that. Ultimately, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know I am big into console gaming. I do have an Xbox, I have a PlayStation 5, the latest Switch, the LCD, whatever it's called model. And I always talk about having a PC, but I never really go into much about the PC. I just say I have one. The thing is, I'm so big into console gaming, there is literally a game system hooked up to every single television in this house. And there's an Xbox in every single room of this house because that's how much I'm into console gaming. So you may be asking, what is the change? Why am I doing this? Now, I would be lying if I said a part of it wasn't the whole horrible debacle that's going on at Xbox. That is a factor, but it's not like I'm so mad. I'm like, oh, I'm throwing out my Xboxes. That's not the case. Ultimately, what really triggered all of this was Lethal Company, believe it or not. What happened is a group of friends came to me and said, hey, let's all play Lethal Company. It has a bunch of mods. You can mod it where you can have more than four people playing because by default it's four people. So there was a big group of us and we all wanted to play Lethal Company. And that's what we did. But the thing was my wife was playing with us, but she just didn't care for playing it because she had two Dell Infinity displays and she just didn't care for it. I brought it up in a previous video before. So I went out and bought her ultra wide so she can have more fun because she saw me on my ultra wide and I think she just wanted to want herself. Got her ultra wide, but in the process of setting up her ultra wide and then I was playing it on mine, I was like, man, this actually looks really fun with this game using ultra wide support because there's an option to mod the game and actually turn on ultra wide. So with that being the case, you know, I went to see what other games I could play and what looks good. And I had a bunch of Steam games, but none of them were really big AAA titles. A couple of them from the Epic Store, because they give out so many free games every so often. But I didn't have a whole lot of AAA games. So I went and bought a bunch. And I've been enjoying the experience on PC more than on my Series X or my PlayStation 5. Now, for those who wonder about the hard works, I never really ever explain in any video what type of hardware I'm running on my computer. So, so you guys know, me and my wife have pretty much an identical build. When it comes to the hardware, both have an Intel i7 11th generation um, processors in our computers. We both have 32 gigabytes of RAM. We both have the RTX 3070 GPU inside our computers. So we can pretty much run whatever game we want to right now. Any game you throw at us, we can actually run. It's not a problem. Well, along with buying a bunch of games, it's just constantly seeing how much cheaper a lot of these games are, you know? The Steam sales just are so much better than they are on console. Now, the thing is when you get into a PC build, you're gonna spend a good chunk of money. Me and my wife's computers both are over a grand a piece, but it's worth it in the aspect of all the games that we buy are just so dirt cheap. Like you're getting AAA games for like a couple of dollars a lot of times. If not a dollar, there was some game, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head right now, but it was some game I got for like a buck or two, and it was a pretty big game. That's kind of awesome. With Microsoft already putting a lot of their games already on the service on PC, it wasn't really hard to switch over. A lot of the games that I play are now on PC, and PlayStation looks to be doing the exact same thing. Helldiver is the first of many games that looks like it's gonna be coming over to the PC. You have a bunch of things like refresh rate and all that stuff, which plays a huge factor and also why we switch. When you have ultra wide monitors with much higher refresh rates, that's just a great gaming experience. We both, me and my wife play a lot of competitive games. We play a lot of Overwatch, we play a lot of um, Halo. We play a lot of Fortnite and just a bunch of other games. I can't even think of all right now. And those things like the refresh rate are important, but also having that ultra wide to look around and see what's going on. Now, unfortunately, the Xbox and the PlayStation don't support widescreen support, you know. And trust me, this video is not to bash on Xbox or PlayStation, because I'll get in a minute if you hang on why I really do like console and why a part of me is still going to be playing on console. But the thing is, I actually took, I did a video previously and in that video, I actually plugged my wife's PlayStation 5 up to uh, my wife's monitor 
and I went to load up Hell Divers, and it just looked okay, but it didn't look as good as it could have looked because it wasn't native on her PC. The problem with the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 is they have a tendency to either stretch and smush an image out, and it doesn't look nearly as good compared to having it on PC where the game does have actual widescreen support is a huge reason why I switched over. Playing Helldivers in widescreen just looks so much better than playing it on my 65 inch TV. I'll, I'll tell you that for sure. And I don't even have the biggest ultra wide. It's like a 40 inch or whatever. People have much bigger ultra wides that this game runs on. It looks great. Now the thing that did also hold me off for a long time is the controller. I've always played on controller. I really haven't played on, you know, mouse and keyboard. And so that was something that was going to be a huge concern for me. And I was talking to a couple of my friends and it was like pretty much every game we play on pc is with a controller and i was like I, I guess i can try that and i've been playing with control with a lot of games and it's been totally fine i have a good experience i know you know aiming is better with a mouse and keyboard i'm just not on that pro level yet now when i play games like overwatch for example that have no aim assist whatsoever it is a little bit harder using controller but i still do a controller i'm still platinum ranked on that game so I'm not that bad, I guess. Every now and then I will switch back to keyboard and mouse, especially with certain characters in Overwatch. But for the most part, I've been having a totally fine experience with playing mouse and keyboard and controller. Games like Ready or Not don't have any type of control support whatsoever, but ultimately I've been making it work. The other thing is that's made it so much easier to switch over to PC is the fact that crossplay and things like Discord are a huge thing it's a huge w for everyone it is now not that hard for me to play all these games and still be able to have communications with everyone no matter what system they're on pretty much you just launch discord up and we can just talk like we are in the xbox party or playstation party or whatever now ultimately i will also say it is nice having all of my items and all of my things in one space because it's actually a windows computer this is a computer where i do all my work on and with that being the case that leads into the mac thing ultimately my mac was for everything i did i did some amount of gaming on it and i also did a lot of work on it, especially like final cut i'm actively learning how to use adobe premiere for this video right now i've never really used adobe premiere so this is going to be interesting so if the quality isn't as good as it usually is that's why but pretty much everything is moving over to my windows 11 platform and right now my mac is pretty much just going to be used for my plex server when it comes to streaming movies and shows that i have set up in my house ultimately i still use my mac from time to time and i do have final cut on there that's what i've always been using and i'm much faster in final cut i know how to work it pretty decently so this is going to be a big change for me but in reality, I kind of want to simplify my experience and kind of bring everything to one thing. I can make my edits, I can play my games, everything's just under one house. And plus, I'm pretty for sure my computer's gonna be able to render and do videos on this Windows build than it can on my Mac. Even though my Mac is fully loaded, my Mac Pro is a fully loaded MacBook Pro, my Mac Mini is a fully loaded Mac Mini, but I still don't think it's gonna touch what my windows computer can do with the actual graphics card in there one of the huge things that people always talk about like i said myself early in the video is the price of games i have got games at such a dirt cheap price just going through steam alone now you do have the option to go to the cd key websites but even when you don't and go directly to steam the prices are so extremely dirt cheap now with that all being the case you may wonder okay well what's the good thing about console i brought up why i'm not going to be switching totally away from console and there's a few things that it's going to still be a problem why i'm going to keep consoles around now ultimately like i brought up earlier in this video there's a system in every part of my house what it would take to actually do that right now on pc would be astronomical in price me and my wife's build alone is a, over a grand a piece so to replicate that for every television would be way too expensive when it comes to buying a lot of AAA brand new games on console, you kind of get two licenses. Now, some people tried to dispute this before in, in the older video, I didn't understand it. But ultimately, when you buy something on console and your family sharing with someone, like say for example, Star Wars Outlaws that comes out later on this year. When that game comes out, if I was to buy it on console, I will get a copy and my wife gets to play a copy at the exact same time. And if the game has multiplayer, we can play with each other. It doesn't cost me anything extra to do. On top of that, if I decide to get Star Wars Outlaws through Ubisoft subscription service, so I don't have to pay the $70, 
my wife can access the subscription service on her Xbox as well. Now take that to PC, that's not really an option. So what I mean by that is if I buy this game through Steam, for example, my wife does not get a copy of the game. Even though I have her in my family on Steam, there, there's some new family sharing thing that Steam has, it's in beta right now, but we're already using it. All that lets you do is you get to borrow the person's license while they're not playing the game. If you wanna to play together, or if it's a single player game, you wanna both play at the same time, you're not gonna really be able to do that on Steam unless you buy two licenses. So even though buying games on PC are cheaper, you actually may be spending more money you know, like say for example, if I wanted to buy Outlaws for $70, well now I'm paying that twice on Steam, whereas on console, you pay it one time. And like I said, with the subscription, I don't have to worry about either of those options because she gets to still benefit from my subscription. So things like that is something that you may have to factor in. That's something that I think about too, buying all these new games. The other thing is PC gaming is not really that conventional when it comes to playing comfortably co-op. Now, what I mean by that is if you're playing a game where you guys are sharing one screen, even though it's ultra wide, it may not be as comfortable as actually sitting down in front of a giant 65 inch TV playing a game, you know? So things like that, like for example, when the new Dragon Ball Z game come out, the new Budokai game comes out, I'm probably not gonna be buying that on PC. That's a game that I'll probably be playing on one of my systems, and I think it's gonna be much more fun on a system. Now, the cool thing about the PC is that you don't have the option to play with pretty much any controller that you have. Steam supports most all of this. The cool thing is uh, games like Helldivers, when you play that on PC, you get the PlayStation 5 controller features like the, with the triggers and everything. Um, to my knowledge, when it comes to games like Helldivers, weirdly enough i've been playing hell divers with an xbox controller don't judge me but i believe when you play with the playstation you get all of the playstation 5 features on there so you can get a pretty good playstation 5 experience and definitely an xbox experience on pc but also is kind of helping my decision with switching over is the fact that sony looks like they're going to be having a lot of their games day and date on pc soon possibly companies like square enix are now saying that they're not going to be exclusively on playstation anymore they're going multi-plat because it's not working financially with them so you have this console maker looking to go you know multi-plat at least when it comes to pc and playstation and you have you know developers that are also saying okay you know this model of being on one system isn't working that much either ultimately if you have a computer that is powerful enough to do all of this then you have a playstation and an xbox built into your system now you're going to still need a switch because for some weird reason where these other companies are having an issue nintendo is making bajillions of dollars <laughs> still with their old model with the way that the industry is going you know microsoft is dumping a bunch of games on playstation and it looks like they may be doing more you know, it really makes you wonder, why do you need an Xbox? But now with PlayStation dumping games on PC, it makes you potentially wonder, why do you need a PlayStation? Diving deeper into the PC realm, seems like that may be the way to go, I don't know. On top of the fact that you have an extreme library of content. And with that being the case, I have to also add the fact that there are so many more games on PC that are better than on console. And what I mean by that is I know there's, you know, console exclusives that are getting faded away. There's not really a whole lot, it seems like moving forward. But what I mean by so many better games is you have games like I brought up earlier, Ready or Not. That is a phenomenal fun game that is not on any console system. Games like Sons of the Forest or GTFO or even Homeworld 3, you're not going to get any of those games on a console. You're going to have to get PC. So you already have... All of Xbox is exclusives. You have a good chunk, if not almost all of PlayStation's exclusives, all on PC. And then PC is really the only system, I use that really loosely, that's out that has exclusives anymore. I mean, well, Nintendo. Okay. I, I sometimes forget Nintendo's a console. I kind of put them in all, their own bubble. But if you're going comparing the PlayStation and the Xbox, PC is the only one that actually has exclusives now. And so that's kind of why I'm diving deeper into that. Like I said, you can still use your controllers. I don't really have a keyboard or mouse that is a gaming keyboard or mouse, but it works pretty good. Like I said, in the games that I am playing, so I don't really worry about it too much. Now I do know PC stands for probably cheating, but 
ultimately, I haven't had a horrible cheating issue. I have bumped into some, but because of things like crossplay and things like that, I've noticed that in console gaming nowadays. Maybe not as much as PC, but I haven't really noticed that much in PC either. And one thing I do have to add to is Microsoft just seems to be getting better with their OS. Yes, they did a lot, a lot of copying from Mac OS in my opinion, and they are doubling down harder in gaming. And because of that, it actually makes it a better experience. I actually like the UI a lot more in Windows 11 than I ever have in a previous OS build. Every time I used to have a Windows computer, and I would use it regularly, I would try to get rid of the skin or the look of it because I didn't like it. But this new look that Microsoft is, like I said, even though it looks a lot like Macintosh, that makes it a little bit better. And a lot of Mac applications are on Windows. I have to download from the App Store, but you have like Apple Music, which I still use a lot of. You have Apple TV, you have iCloud. So you have a lot of Apple features and services. You have a lot of gaming features and services. Now, there are a few things I'm still missing out, like FaceTime, for example. I do know that there's some workarounds to kind of get iMessage, but when RCS fully rolls out this year, I do expect to have a better iMessage potential experience. Microsoft Edge browser is a lot better than it used to be. Most people, Chrome is probably their most default thing to use anyways. For me, I just always use Safari all the time. Now, the only other issue that I know a lot of people have is like PC ports and all the different launchers. Now, in reality, I have a bunch of launchers on my computer right now. Most of them I have turned off by default, but yes, on Windows computers, you have a bunch of launchers when you're trying to run games because every company wants to have their own launcher. If you want to play Red Dead, you're gonna, even if you buy it through Steam, you have the stupid Rockstar launcher. If you want to play Cyberpunk, you have the CD Project Red launcher, or whatever they call it. So that does suck, but it's not the end of the world. You know, as many games as I can get through Steam, I try to get through Steam. The biggest thing that was holding me up before was the achievements on Xbox. I know it's super dumb, plus Steam has achievements, but I have almost 100,000 achievements in Xbox. So to kind of move over to Steam now is a little bit weird, but it's not the end of the world. I'm starting to build up a huge library on Steam and get a bunch of achievements as well. So, you know, it works for me. I'm not an achievement hunter, but it kind of gives me something to work forward to to start building up this new achievement system um, like I have on Xbox. I know there's a bunch of stuff that I'm more than likely forgetting, but that's mostly a lot of the things about playing on PC and why I'm personally switching. Again, I have systems in every part of my house and I do like the aspect of being able to just pick up a controller and play it literally anywhere I am in my house. And so that's why I will still have consoles throughout my house. I know for some people you may not wanna, if you work at a desk job, work on a computer all day, you may not wanna come home and get right on a computer. You do have the option of big picture mode, um, where it kind of gives it a more of a console UI. You can plug it into your television and have more of a console experience. But ultimately, this works for me. This works for me and my wife. And I think this is, I feel pretty comfortable where I'm going. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. There's a bunch of stuff I'm probably forgetting that I may add later or something. Comment down below. What are your questions? What do you guys think? Are you looking to go into PC gaming? Are you already in PC gaming? Or is console the way for you? Comment that all down below. Whatever your answer is, it's about you enjoying yourself and having fun. There's no wrong answer. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.